You're such an asshole. Castle Consulting, I guess it is uh, election season here, the primaries anyway. Please keep me anonymous, hey Aaron, I would like you to do a YouTube video applying to the Clary test on musicians Kanye West and Morrissey. Now, was it Kanye West that all of a sudden is now pro-Trump? Let's go ahead and pull these guys up. Remember, the Clary test is a four-question test to determine whether a person should run for office. <clears throat> wow, look at his net worth, $145 million. <laughs> Good on him. Hey, he's a short guy like me. He's only 5'8". All right. Um, and the fourth question is, quest, four, four question test is, did you come from money? Do you have any real world working experience? What are you doing now? And did you major in stupid crap? So let's take a look at Mr. West. Where'd the Wikipedia go? Rapper. I know he's a rapper. Really? We don't have it immediately directly linked? All right, American rapper, singer, songwriter, record producer, entrepreneur, and fashion designer. He's one of the most popular rappers in the world, and one of the most and one of the world's best-selling music artists. West contributions to music and fashion, along with his publicized personal life, has made a global fan of popular culture. Born in Atlanta, raised in Chicago, West became first known as a producer for Rockefeller Records in the early 2000s, producing and co-producing uh, hit singles for artists such as Jay Z, Ludacris, and Alicia Keys. All right. Intent on pursuing a solo career as a rapper, Wes released his debut album, The College Dropout, in 2004 to widespread critical and commercial success and founded the record label, Good Music. He went, all right, so he's got hustle. Is this the guy that always says something stupid every once in a while? Um, I don't know. Okay, let's go to his early life. <clears throat> he came out of the gate running. Parents divorced when he was three years old, moved to Chicago with his mother. His father, Ray, is a former Black Panther, one of the first black photojournalists in Atlanta. Uh, Ray West was later a Christian counselor. Oh, they always find, what is it, religion is the last refuge of a charlatan or whatever. Opened the Goodwater Stone Store and Cafe in Lexington Park with startup capital from his son, West's mother, Dr was a professor of English at Clark Atlanta University and the chair of the English department of Chicago before retiring to serve. Oh, West was raised in a middle-class background attending Polaris High School. Okay, so when he was younger, maybe his folks didn't have their, well, they, obviously their folks didn't have their act together, got divorced, uh, but then they seemed to do a little bit better. At the age of 10, West moved with his mother to Nanjing, China, where she was teaching at Nanjing University Private Exchange Program. Dude, don't tell me he came from middle class. No, no, this is not middle class. If he's flying around the country and his mom's off, I thought it like later on she became this thing and his dad's later on. No, no, I'm, I'm, no, he came from affluence. Not super, it, it's, it's not the money he's got now, but he, he came, he had school bought and paid for if he even did go to schools. Um, writing poetry, mother called the ba ba ba, do do do, green eggs and ham, and began to persuade his mother to pay him $25 an hour for time in a recording studio. So his mom's paying him $25 an hour when he's 13? Dude, oh, he had money. Don't tell me he came from fucking, oh, he's just a middle class. My folks never paid me 25 fucking bucks an hour to do anything. No, one point against him. Um, he comes from wealth. Scholarship to attend universities. American Academy of Art began taking painting classes to study English. And he transferred to Chicago State University to study English. Nope, he wanted to avoid real work. He soon realized that his busy class schedule was detrimental to his musical work, so at 20, he dropped out of college to pursue his musical dreams. They actually greatly, greatly displeased his mother, who was also a professor at the university. Oh, he got he got free scholarship and everything. He totally came from wealth. Okay, but he was smart enough to get out. Yeah, and he came out with an album called College Dropout. So there, that's where he shines through. He shows independence. Um, God, I almost want to take half a point away because he uh, he was smart enough to get out of that school. Yeah, you know what? He gets a point taken away, which is a good thing. Um... 
because he realized no and he took a risk he took a risk like no i gotta go and get some hustle he pursued his own entrepreneurial work okay so then pretty much like i said out of the gate he's running hustling he's producing co-producing and then he does his own record uh and now yeah he's still working obviously you could you could argue eh, music isn't the real thing no he's working uh, i mean you just go through all the starting to read like prince's resume this is huge how much stuff he's done <laughs> usually it's a rap sheet but this guy's a success sheet that's <laughs> Uh, then he goes into fashion, he marries super rich gal, um, what's he doing, he's still working at, yeah, so he gets, he gets a point and a half, which is a really good score considering he came from wealth, that's the one thing he doesn't control, uh, point and a half, should he run for office, no, <laughs> if this is the guy I think it is where he comes up with, like, crazy stuff, I, I don't think so. I, let's put it this way. I prefer he run than any other politician, kind of like Trump. It, it's kind of like, uh, I, I can think of a lot better people, but you know what? I'd rather have him than what we got now. He has real-world working experience. He has success. Uh, would I have a beer with him? Yeah. Just to see, man. Just to see. I don't know if I'd, you know, there's other people I'd rather have beers with, but... Um, I would, yeah, who, who wouldn't? Just out of morbid curiosity. So he should run for public office, but only because people who are running for public office are scumbags now. And would I like to have a beer from him? Yeah, because out of, out of curiosity. So, All right, the next one, <coughs> Morrissey. Morrissey, it's like Madonna, one person name. Who's this guy? Singer, he's old. Okay, born 1959, Stephen Patrick Morrissey, mononymously known as Morrissey, is an English singer, songwriter, and author. He rose to prominence as the frontman of the Smiths, who acted from 1982 to 1987. Since then, Morrissey has had a sole career making the top 10 of the UK singles charts on 10 occasions and reaching number one in UK album charts three times. Born in Lancashire, to a working class Irish family, grew up in Manchester, childly developed a love of literature, kitchen sink, realism, and popular music, involved in Manchester's punk rock scene during the late 1970s, in front of the nosebleeds with little success. Began a career in music journalism, so okay, uh, he, he's got a point against him. This is not sounding like uh, self titled uh, front man. So, so he's got real world working experience. He worked on this mess. Let's go to early life and childhood. We're working class Irish. They immigrated to Manchester from Dublin with his only sibling. Steve Conkin. <coughs> so council house. What's a council house? Is that government living? Really his home was a council house. Public or social housing. Okay, so he didn't come from wealth. All right, so that's good doesn't come from wealth. Excelled at athletics. He left school in 19 have received no formal qualifications. He continued his education at a technical college where he gained three English literature, sociology, general paper. Traveled the United States, lived in Jersey. He's, I'm not going to give him the, he's too old or too young to be given the forgiveness of baby boomers. So any degree was a good degree. It looked like he was just trying to... I, I'm not going to lie. It looks like he got lucky. He got his break. Now, he obviously probably has talent. He wouldn't have been this popular without some kind of talent. Uh, but he's majoring in English literature in the country where it was originated. Wow. Uh, sociology and general paper. He gets point for worthless degree. Does he have real-world working experience? Yes, he does. It does take hustle. So, so far, he's only got one point. He's in the Smiths. Solo career 1991, what do you do after 1991? Changing image. July 1992, Morrissey released Your Arsenal, peak number two in the China, final release. Singer converted from the Amazon, according to Woods, Morrissey developed an air of quietly assured masculinity, representing a more robust, burlier, beefier version of himself, while the poet and Morrissey fan, Simon. You know, he makes you wonder. Um, Especially these artists, 
I don't mean musical arts, but typically more artists, though in this case it is a musical artist, like, how many of the fans come in and just write such minutia about the person? Like, if you ever look at Rouge V's Wikipedia entry, it's very brief, very succinct. This is just, and he wipes with his left hands, but on Tuesday he wipes with his rights because of Tuesday right wipe day. I mean, really? The level of detail that is irrelevant He signed with RCA in 1995. Comeback, he never went anywhere. Working, working, working. I just see him working more. Touring, autobiography 2013. Debut novel, 24 to present. All right. Signed with Capital Music. Yeah, again, like like Prince, he's, he writes a lot. He's just doing his work. He's doing his work. So man has real world work experience. He's currently working now. Um, came from poverty. The only thing is that he majored in stupid crap. <clears throat> That's the only thing. So one, uh, would I like to have a beer with him? Yes, probably more so than I would um, the other guy that we just did. And should he run for office? Again, yes, he could run for office, and he would probably be better than most of the professional politicians and career politicians that are there. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking this guy's going to go more Victor Borga, lifelong performer. Um, because it's obviously, gosh, he's been performing since he was a kid, and he's almost 60 years old. So. All right, there you go. You got questions. Cappy's got answers as long as you got money. Over at AnselConsulting.com. Check out OlderBrother.com. We got the podcast coming out today at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And all the links would be down below once I upload this video. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.